I'd say about any day now, these uh, spiderlings are going to be uh, bursting out. <laughs> and uh, the eggs are getting, from the yellow color, they're getting more of a gray, dark gray, dark black coloring, which means that uh, uh, it's getting really close now for babies to come. At around 6 a.m. this morning, we have spiderlings and uh, we have a mob. <laughs> I knew this would happen. Well, one of the eggs has hatched uh, early on. I'll see if we can get you a closer view of those uh, little guys. They're already making their way. They ballooned over to the lamp over here. <laughs> see, see, I already see him by the see him by the fingertip here, my finger, little guy there. And they made a web all the way over to my lamp already. Well, I better get them rounded up. My wife will shoot me. <laughs> Oh, and they're on my get well card somebody sent me. Look at that, isn't that cute? <laughs> Spider-Man. And they're making their way over to that card. Well, knew this day was coming. And, uh, here it is. And we got uh, two more egg sacks yet to, uh, to watch hatch. Maybe we'll catch those in the actual act. So now I got the wonderful chore of trying to round all these uh, youngsters up <laughs> and corral them back into their container and I gotta do it before my wife gets up this morning. <laughs> She'll throw me and the spiders out. So I better get going. That'll be a chore and um, usually they flock together pretty good uh, like birds might. Um, so we'll see if we can round them all up get them back in their container and, and all will be well. Alright, now the hard part. Let's see if we can round up all these little spiderlings and get them back into their container. Um, this will be interesting. Uh, hopefully we can keep the ball bundled together and not run all over my house. I've created kind of a hinge over here on the container so that uh, when I open up one side. I put some scotch tape over here so I can open up the top of this and the back side will be like a hinge so I can hopefully get them as many in here as possible. So well that's that's my attempted plan. We'll see how we'll see how this works. 
This is going to be an interesting fiasco. I'm going to first attempt to open the container. And I gotta be careful because right down in the container I got a bunch of them around the egg sack right now. So we'll do this. We'll open up. This is gently, you can see these guys are already feeling the movement and making a rush. Alright, lid open. Some of these guys to stay on this card. Alright. Alright, here goes the here goes the biggie. So far so good. And here goes the drop. Hey, not too shabby. Success. Just a couple left on the card. And most babies are home sweet home where they belong. You can see they're nice and relaxed, resting, enjoying the uh, company of their siblings. Well, that went a lot quicker and a lot easier than I thought it would, so I am happy camper this morning. <laughs> I got some little ones right on the lens. I know you can't see them, but I can see them. Anyway, um, we'll be keeping our sharp eyes open for the rest of the spiderlings, which should come out any any day now. So we're going to have a, quite the container full of spiderlings. I never did this before, having three eggs in the same container. So it's going to be a, a wild uh, uh, madhouse of activity. And as these little, these little ones, these first ones that came out, this is the garden, common garden type. Uh, as babies, they normally, as spiderlings, they're going to have a bright yellow um, abdomen with some black markings on them which they really cute when they're when they're when they're younger so uh, stay tuned for that we'll be posting some more information as these spiderlings uh, continue to hatch and this little uh, pooter stick um, this little straw with a little nylon on the end a wonderful tool when you're dealing with little spiderlings thanks for watching have a great day